Hey people, so it's been a while since I've actually directly talked to the camera, so um, yeah, how's it going? In this video, I'll show you how to make this LED lit glowing Triforce. Now, I was inspired to do this video because um, I recently bought one of these, and uh, yeah, I used to have one of these a long time ago, along with an N64, and um, well, I'm on a bit of a kind of nostalgia trip, so let's get to it. So I began with this 18mm thick acrylic picture frame with a magnetic back. Once again, purchased from Amazon. I printed out the Triforce design, sized it up, cut it out and then stuck it onto the acrylic to use as a guide. I decided to keep the metal sheet attached to the back as it would prevent the acrylic from scratching when I cut out the design. I clamped a straight block of wood to fit exactly down the side of the triangle. This will help guide the saw for a straight cut. I then used the hacksaw to cut out the triangle. Now for the other side. And there we go. I then used a file to smooth out the edges. Looking good already. Next, I restuck the design onto the triangle and used a ruler and a knife to mark out the inner lines. I also did the same thing to the back using the first set of lines as a guide. There we go. Once that was done, it was time to etch over the three outer triangles. I clamped the ruler along the lines I created, and just like with my LED emblem video, I used the rotary tool to carve over the triangles. I used the rounded pointy end piece to fill in the gaps close to the edge, and then the sphere piece to colour in the triangles. I did this for all three of the outer triangles, and then repeated the same process on the back. Eventually, it looked like this. Just need to do the same thing along the outer edges. Well, that's the Triforce done. Let's start on the LEDs and the base. In order to light it up, I use these LED flickering tea lights. You can get a pack of six of these for about five pounds from Amazon. I began by prying off the plastic candle on one of the tea lights, revealing the LED underneath. I then pulled out the switch and the circuit board from the bottom. Then, using an LED from one of the other lights, I wired it up to the circuit, like so. I'm all out of solder, so I just used tape to secure the wires. For the base, I needed some sort of block of wood, so I pulled off this leg from an old stool. And when flipped over, it makes a great base. I then used the large drill piece and the sander on my rotary tool to create a hole big enough to fit in the circuit board. Once that was done, I drilled two 6mm holes in the top to make room for the LEDs. I then inserted the LEDs and the circuit board with the switch and stuck it in place. There we go. I then simply stuck the Triforce to the base with hot glue. 
And now, it's done. Looks pretty darn awesome. So there we have it. How to make an LED glowing Triforce. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe. And then if you wish to be informed every time I upload a new video, go to my channel page, click the settings button and tick the send me updates tab. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Now, back to Zelda. Bloody water temple.